Hi guys, welcome sa Sip Naya. No, in this video, ay tuloy natin yung series natin ng PEMDAS. No? And sabi natin sa previous uh, tutorials ay uh, yung order ng operation ay una, uh, dapat uh, compute muna natin yung mga nasa loob ng parenthesis or simplify. After that, uh, pag natapos na natin, uh, tsaka naman natin kukomputin yung may exponent no? na numbers. No? And after uh, the exponent, multiplication and division from left to right and after ng multiplication and division, addition and subtraction from left to right. No? So, pang ilan na natin tutorial to, so dapat medyo confident na kayo no, sa pagkocompute. No? Let's start. We have uh, 8 plus 3 times 8 minus 3 quantity squared. No? So, pag meron tayong grouping symbol, tapos uh, may another grouping symbol and no sign in between, walang plus, walang minus, walang division sign. That's actually multiplication. Pag sinapin natin 3 times 4, uh, pag may parenthesis, parenthesis, tapos walang uh, uh, operation in between, ibig sabihin yan, 3 times 4 yan. I guess, alam nyo naman yan. So, unahin yung parenthesis, may drawa tayong parenthesis sa loob, meaning this is 11. 11 times 8 minus 3 is 5, di ba? And then squared. So, unahin pa rin natin na sa loob ng parenthesis. Ito, uh, grouping symbol yan. 11 times 5 is 55. And 55 squared. Ako, ilang kaya to? 55 times 55 ay maybe it's 3,025. Tignan natin, baka mali tayo. 55 times 55. Okay. Alak pa yung shortcut. Anyway, ito. Next, we have... Uh, if we have more than uh, one grouping symbol at meron tayong... Merong nasa loob, meron nasa labas, ang uh, method is unahin mo muna yung nasa loob. No? So, unahin muna natin to dito. So, 48 minus... Yung iba as is siya 6 minus... So, nasa loob, meron tayong 2 squared plus 3, meron tayong exponent, tapos meron tayong addition. Siyempre, unahin muna natin yung exponent. So, magiging 4 plus 3 siya. Okay. So, ito naging 4. Yung iba as is pa rin, 48 minus 6 minus, may parenthesis pa rin tayo sa loob. What is 4 plus 3? 7, di ba? And 48 minus, what is 6 minus 7? Negative 1, di ba? And 48 minus negative 1 is 49. Pwede natin check, no? Pwede naman natin i-check sa Excel yung dalawa. So, that's uh, yung letter G. We have pag nasa Excel kayo, pwede i-check yung uh, computation by uh, typing equal sign tapos yung expression. 8 plus 3. Uh, pag sa Excel, dapat i... Pag nag-multiply tayo, i yan natin. Lagay natin asterisk. No? So, this is another grouping symbol. 8 minus 3. And then squared. So, dapat 3,025 yung sagot natin. Oh. Kung nakalimutan ko sa Excel pala guys, bawal pala to yung uh, square bracket. So, papalitan din natin ang parenthesis. Okay, so, ito yung dalawang parenthesis. para siya dun sa 8 plus 3. Ito yung dalawang parenthesis dun sa 8 minus 3. Tapos may another parenthesis ka outside. And then square. So, dapat, dapat 3,025 to, no? May, uh, otherwise, I'll scream. No? 3,025. Next, we have 48, 48 minus uh, 6 minus 2, another parenthesis. It should be parenthesis. Nakasabi ko lang, nakalimutan ko lang. This is 2 squared plus 3. And then 
close parentheses and then another close parentheses. Tama ba tayo? Pinapalitan lang natin itong square bracket ng parentheses kasi bawal sa Excel. So, anong sagot natin dapat? Dapat 49, no? Oh, tama. Tama pa naman tayo. Okay, so let's have uh, this one. Letter I. So, meron tayong parentheses, meron tayong exponent, may uh, division, may, may uh, multiplication. So, nahin natin yung exponent. Six, sorry, parentheses, 16 divided by 8. This is uh, 2. No? 2 squared divided by 2 times 7. And then, uh, 2 squared, may exponent. Meron tayong uh, division, meron tayong multiplication. So, exponent muna. 4 divided by 2 times 7. Okay? So, again, pag multiplication, division na natira, ang isang... Uh, misconception dyan is kailangan unahin natin yung multiplication kasi MD na una yung M. No? That's not true. No? Dapat from left to right. That's wrong. No? Uh, kaya palagi dapat kayong careful dyan. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7 is 14. Pag inunan nyo itong multiplication, uh, magiging uh, 14 siya. Magiging 4 over 14. So, magiging fraction siya. Pero tignan natin kung fraction nga ba yung sagot. No? Pwede natin tignan. So, magiging equal parenthesis 16 divided by 8. Ang division sa Excel is yung slash. No? And then we squared. And then uh, still another division. And then times 7. So, suppose... Our answer, what's our answer here? 14, di ba? Makakabahan yata ako. Oh, 14 naman. Next, we have, joke lang yung kinakabahan na, uh, sigurado naman ako sa ano, no? Pag tinuturo ko sa inyo, sigurado naman ako tama. Negative 4 minus 3 uh, squared minus 2 cubed. So, unahin natin yung nasa parenthesis. So, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Squared minus 2 cubed plus 1. Pareho may exponent, pwede na natin isabay. So, this is 4. Ang parenthesis dito, magkaiba to sa parenthesis dito. Ah. Ito grouping, ito, ito. It only indicates that uh, it's a negative, negative number. Hindi siya nag-group kasi isa lang naman siya. Wala namang operation. No? So, yun ang minsan nagbabago yung meaning niya, depende. 49, uh, negative 7 squared is 49, minus 8, plus 1. Ito pa, yung isa pang misconception. Again, katulad ng multiplication and division nito kanina, pag uh, addition na lang ang subtraction, ang uh, operation ay from left to right din. Hindi porke na una yung addition and subtraction sa acronym na PEMDAS, unahin mo na to. So, pag dalawa na lang, from left to right ka rin. So, 49 minus 8, that's 41. Plus 1. It's 42. Pag inuna mo to, 49 minus 9 ka, magiging 40 yung sagot mo. Pero ang magiging sagot yan ay 42. Pwede natin check, no? So that's 40. Uh, negative 4 minus 3 squared. Parenthesis, diba? So, negative 4 minus 3 squared. Minus 2 cubed, and then plus 1. Okay, so 42 ang sagot. Hindi, hindi 40. Mukha siyang squared, no? But this is 42. Okay, so, yeah. Yan yung ating uh, tutorial on PEMDA. Siguro I'll, I'll have another video on nested parentheses. Yung maraming ganito, no? Uh, yung uh, nag-nest yung mga grouping symbols. No? So, so, maybe I'll have two of them para at least mas lalong uh, maintindihan yung uh, on how to deal with such computations. No?
Okay, marami salamat. Gusto ko kayong i-invite sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sip9ph and our Facebook page, no? facebook.com slash sip9ph. Mag-subscribe kayo guys. Tapos pag nag-subscribe kayo, uh, i-click nyo yung parang bell. No? Kasi pag kinlik nyo yung bell, ibig sabihin every time na meron tayong bagong upload ay uh, maano nyo siya, ma-receive nyo siya. No? Kasi pag hindi nyo kinlik yung bell na yon ang mangyayari is... Uh, randomly lang niya kayong sisendan no? uh, notifications. No? Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, pwede nyo rin kami i-visit sa sipnayan.com yung ating website. Nandiyan nakalista yung ating mga post. No? So kung hirap pa kayo maghanap sa YouTube, ito, uh, ina-update ko naman yan from time to time. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.